Hello everyone, welcome to PAX, home of Wizards of the Coast here in downtown Seattle. Rich Hagen alongside Ian Duke from Inside R&D, no one better than Ian to walk us through this brand new card from Battle for Zendikar, coming your way in those brand new booster packs this fall. So why don't we take a look, our very first look around the world at Hedron Archive. Let's take a look, there it is on your screen, a four mana artifact, it's uncommon, taps to add two to your mana pool, and then if you spend two, tap, and sacrifice it, you draw two cards. Flavor text, you've begun to understand the Hedron's true purpose, said Ugin. The Eldrazi can be imprisoned. And how did that work out last time, asked Jace. He's a very snarky individual, really. Uh, so that is Hedron Archive. We'll leave that up on screen for you to have a good peruse. Gorgeous art. No surprise there. Ian, what is going on with Hedron Archive? This card is sweet. Talk about value town. So here's the deal. We know we're coming back to Zendikar. We know there's lots of huge Eldrazi on Zendikar, and you're going to need some way to cast them. This is one of the best ways to get your big Eldrazi out on the battlefield. It's awesome and limited. We think it's going to see some playing constructed as well. Hmm. And uh, we're really excited about what this card is going to do. Okay, now it's uncommon, so obviously we're, we're not going to see that many of them floating around draft tables. Is this a, going to be a high pick? It's a pretty high pick, definitely if you're, if you're going into a more rampy strategy. Not to talk too much about what um, Battle for Zendikar Limited is going to be about, mm -hmm. but there are definitely big Eldrazi there. You can definitely get them out in Limited. Uh, if you're going into an archetype like that, this is going to be a high pick for you. Okay, now cycles in Magic, we talk about there's like five in a set sometimes. Uh, we might see five dragons, for example, in a particular set, or five forms uh, of removal across the, the five colors. So. This belongs in a cycle of sorts, but if you figured it out, I'm very impressed because this is a pretty strange one. Yeah, this is almost like a sort of an inside joke or reference for R&D. It's a very a long cycle across mm. much of Magic's history. This card's origin dates back to an old card from Weatherlight called Mindstone. So this is like 1997, beginning of 1997. Yeah, so this was a two mana artifact. It tapped for one colorless mana, and it had one tap, sacrifice me, draw one card. Okay. Okay. So flash forward to Rise of the Eldrazi. We had another card there, part of this cycle, called Dreamstone Hedron. This was six mana artifact, taps for three colorless mana, and has three tap, sacrifice me, draw three cards. So we have the one and the three. Right, so this is finally your double Mind Stone completing that uh, three card cycle. <laughs> That's, yes, hats <laughs> off. Yeah, we have a crowd here in case you didn't know. Here at PAX, great to have you all with us here uh, at the big show. Now, wh when does a card like this get made? Is this a card that you know as soon as you say, we're gonna put Eldrazi in the set, you have big, big creatures, you instantly think mana acceleration? Or is this the kind of card that development get their hands on when they played with the set for a while and say, you know what, maybe we're, we're getting to 7-8 mana, but not quite the 9-10 we need as regularly. Let's give a little bit of boost to mana. Where does this, where does this come from? Really good question, Rich. So I was on um, both the design team and the development team, so I can kind of speak to both. Um, in design, we definitely recognize that we're going to have huge Eldrazi in the set. We need to give you some ways to cast it. And so in that sense, we had some slots kind of set aside for these are going to be your mana ramp cards that allow you to do that. Now, this particular card in its current form actually didn't come around until development when we started working on, you know, we want the themes of the set to succeed, you know, in limited and casual constructed and in high tier tournament constructed. So we need to put in some cards that actually allow you to ramp out to those big Eldrazi. Um, and when I say, you know, we might expect to see a little bit of this card in constructed just for comparison's sake, We've seen cards like Explosive Vegetation and maybe Frontier Siege kind of live on the fringes of Constructed right. so far. And this is really similar. It's four mana, it ramps you up by two, except any deck can play this, and late in the game when you don't have anything else to do, you can cash it back in for two cards. So it's kind of like a split card, Explosive Vegetation, Divination, and, and both of those are you know in the realm of consideration. It's looking very, very sweet. There you see it one more time. Hedron Archive coming your way in Battle for Zendikar.